Femoral neck fracture fixation anatomy. The neck shaft angle is approximately 130 degrees. The antiversion is approximately 10 degrees. There is no periosteum in the neck. No abundant callus and the fracture heals by industrial proliferation. The medial femoral circumflex artery is the most important blood supply to the femoral head. It is the lateral epiphyseal artery. In young patients, the injury is usually high energy that may lead to a vascular necrosis. Some believe surgery should be urgent in the young to decompress the compressed vessels. The more displaced the fracture and the more vertical the fracture, the more likely the risk of complication will occur, including disruption of the retinacular vessels, the vascular necrosis, and non-union. Femoral neck reduction should be anatomic, either by a closed technique or open technique if closed technique failed. Holker is an area of stress transfers. It is a postromedial dense plate of bone. It forms an internal strut within the inferior part of the femoral neck and the intertrochanteric area. The mechanism of injury Low energy fracture occurs in the elderly from a fall into the greater trochanter. The fall in the elderly is different than a fall in the young. Wrist fractures occur in a younger group than the hip. Wrist fractures followed by spine fractures followed by hip fractures. So the young will try to protect themselves by falling on the rest. High energy fractures occur in both the young and the elderly from a fall or a car accident. A stress fracture can occur in athletes. Insufficiency fracture occur in the elderly and it is usually an occult fracture. History. Obtain adequate history from the patient, such as any syncopal episodes and loss of conscience. The pre-injury ambulatory status may determine the treatment selected for the patient. Falls and low sodium will increase the risk of hip fractures. Clinical exam. Position of the leg is usually shortening and external rotation. X-rays. You will get an AP view and a cross table lateral view. In cross table lateral, you move the uninjured hip away, so the one that you move is the normal hip. It is better than frog leg lateral. You may consider traction internal view if the fracture is comminuted. You may also look for hip arthritis or pathological fracture. If you have a comminuted femoral shaft fracture, you may look for an associated femoral neck fracture by getting an AP internal view of the hip to look for that occult fracture of the femoral neck. CT scan. It's important when you have a non-displaced femoral fracture of the neck and comminuted femoral shaft fracture. You may see the fracture in abdomen pelvis CT scan cuts, usually before surgery. MRI, good for occult and for stress fractures. If the patient cannot bear weight, get an MRI. If there is contraindication to an MRI, get a CT scan or a bone scan. Bone scan increases sensitivity by waiting 24 to 72 hours after the injury. The one-year mortality is 30%. The risk factors for mortality 
will include surgery delay more than four days. This may double the mortality rate. Probably these patients are sicker than the average patient. Any patient with comorbidities more than four, that will increase the mortality. Renal patients with hip fractures are a problem. In institutionalized patients and patients that may have low sodium will have a higher risk of mortality. Surgical timing. The optimal time for surgery is after medical stabilization. There's an improved outcome if surgery is done within 48 hours. Surgical delay up to 72 hours for medical stabilization warranted in patients that are not healthy. Surgical urgency of fixing the fracture in young patient may be important. Surgery. Displacement and physiological age of the patient will decide the treatment. Non-displaced fracture should be fixed to prevent displacement. You will do it for the young and for the old. It is a minimal surgery. Screws are placed in an inverted triangular pattern with inferior screws posterior to the midline and adjacent to the calcar. If the fracture is displaced and the patient is young, you do close reduction or open reduction to have the fracture anatomic. The fracture should be anatomic. Avoid malreduction. Adequacy of reduction is the most important factor. A healed femoral neck fracture with shortening is associated with a poor functional outcome. Open reduction of the fracture. You can use a Smith-Peterson approach it is the anterior approach, and it is between the sartorius and the tensor fascia lata. The lateral cutaneous nerve of the thigh can be injured in this approach. Or you can use Watson-Jones approach between the tensor fascia lata and the gluteus medius. The superior glutean nerve may be injured if the dissection is more than 5 cm above the estabulum. In general, the sooner the fixation, the better the result. When we talk about the screws for femoral neck fracture, we're talking about three parallel cancellous screws. The screws should be inserted 5 mm from the articular cartilage. The inferior one will be within 3 mm of the cortex, and the posterior ones will be within 3 mm of the cortex, Avoid posterior superior position of the screws to avoid injury to the blood supply of the head. Inferior and posterior screws are better. The screw threads should cross the fracture site. Try to insert them above the lesser trochanter to avoid fracture below the fixation. If the neck is comminuted, add a fourth screw. The basic cervical fracture will be fixed by hip screw and anti-rotation screw. Displaced fracture in an active elderly patient will be treated by a total hip replacement because you will have better function, but you will have also more dislocations. It's also used in patients with degenerative arthritis or rheumatoid arthritis and femoral neck fractures. Displaced fracture in the elderly and the patient is debilitated, you will do bipolar or unipolar. What approaches will you use? Posterior approach will have more dislocations. Anterolateral approach will have gluteal muscle weakness, or you can use the anterior approach. An older patient with a displaced fracture and the screw fixation, it's considered a minimal surgery, but there's an increased risk of secondary surgery, 40%, so don't do it. How about the surgery for non-union? You can use the valgus intertrochanteric osteotomy. That will change the orientation of the fracture from vertical 
which is biomechanically bad, to horizontal, which is biomechanically good.